Hey guys, so in the last video we got our flood coolant up and running and we discovered that we were having a little uh, problem with coolant splashing up and getting all over the place. So in this video I'm going to concentrate on trying to plug up all the leaks. So let's see what I came up with. Okay, so what I've been working on today is just some cardboard templates to try to close up some of these holes. And what I did was I took the cardboard templates and then trace them out on some flashing. Now you can just get a roll of flashing at the local home center, but I uh, happen to have a roll. So all I did was I just made some cardboard templates and traced them out on some flashing. And, um, and then I just folded it and shaped it. And I'm going to put some silicone caulk to hold them in and hopefully close up all the gaps. Now there was a big hole in the bottom here similar to the tail end and so I didn't want liquid getting uh, coolant getting in there so I made a a shield here and I'll seal it up with caulk. Now for the next thing I noticed was it was dripping down and splashing up on the motor so I've got to make something for the motor the problem is, it's got to have a corner here. It's got to have a corner here and go down. And then it's also got to go down and kind of just seal up the pan here. So, trying to fold a piece of flashing and make a 90 degree corner uh, is going to be difficult. So, what I do is I take the jug that we used uh, for the coolant to fill it up and I think I'm just going to trace it around like this and cut it and then I will use I will use it like that it'll sit down up underneath the splash shield right there and go all the way down to the bottom of the the top of the coolant pan and that should seal it off so let me get this cut and see what we come up with okay so here is my milk jug and it's going to go up in there like that and then I have this little radius I had to kind of shape and what I did was I just took a 3 8 rod heated it up a little bit with a torch, not real hot, just enough and then kind of just work this and kind of shape the plastic. If you get it too hot it'll just melt the plastic but if you're careful you can just reshape it. And so this is going to go right here. Let me stick it in and you can see how it's going to fit. And then that should give me enough uh, to seal everything off. Oh. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put some silicone caulk around everything and seal everything up and we'll see how okay, it Okay, well you can see I've got my pieces in. They're all siliconed. I'm trying to silicone these cro uh, cracks here, behind here, but you can't, you just can't get in, on, in there with a um, caulking gun. So I've got a tip for you, and uh, it'll help you get in those places that you can't reach. Like back in here, I can't get that corner back in there. All I, I can only get, it. there's about two inches that I can't reach. So here's... Here's what you can do that'll help you out. Take an ordinary drinking straw. Make sure you got it long enough, probably three inches or so. Clip it off. Then just split it a little bit, maybe about a half inch or so, a couple spots. Slide it over the end of your caulking gun, like so. 
wrap some tape around it. You got to get some tape that will hold on this plastic, especially if you've already used it like I have. Because this caulking, this silicone boy, nothing wants to stick to it. And wouldn't you know it, I'm out of tape. Okay. So, like so. And then you can just squeeze through here. Give you a little extension wand. Okay. And then let me get the camera in position. Now maybe you can see. Okay, now you can see I've stuck caulk down in there. You can take the piece of tubing uh, straw that you cut off and just kind of use it to smooth it out. You can do the same thing underneath here. Let's see if I can do it without. Locking the camera angle. Okay. Let's take our straw, smooth it out. Well, I can probably get my finger in there, but. Okay. Now I have that all sealed up. You'll go through a lot of paper towels doing this because this silicone is messy stuff. All right, now I'm going to try to do this vertical right here. As well. There we go. And then I'll do this. Okay. So you can see you can easily get caulk in there. Just put a little extension on your caulking uh, tube with a drinking straw. Alright, so I'm going to smooth all that out. Good enough for me. Okay, so we finished getting everything sealed up. Hopefully, I got all the areas. So, I've got that area there. That was just a big void that went all the way back to the end of the lathe. So, it would just fill up with water. There was no doubt that was going to leak. Um, hopefully, I've got it sealed well enough that it shouldn't be a problem underneath here I've got my pan that I put in piece of flashing and my little milk drug gallon milk jug trick to protect my motor and you can see there's plenty of room for the motor so it, it'll still be able to breathe it's got it all I've got it all caught with silicone uh, that should be good as well and then on the back side, you can see the bottom. Anything that runs over there will just fall down in there. Now, I may need to put some kind of uh, splash to go down, but that should be okay. But we'll see. That shouldn't be a problem to add just a piece there. So next, we're going to be working on a riser for my quick change tool post. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.